but you need to see this dent, it's um, quite bad. Hi, welcome along to my latest video repair. I'm Martin Seller from Dent Remover. What we're going to be showing you in this video is a Vauxhall Mocker, a nasty dent to the front wing, it's damaged it on the body line and right on the bottom where it meets the arch spat. Um, it's going to take some doing to get, to get repaired. There's a bit of paint damage on it as well and we've told the customer we'll be getting it as best as possible for them. If you do like my videos, then I like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You click the subscribe button down there and the bell and uh, you'll get notified when we do another video. But for now, let's go and take a look at this mocker. This is extreme damage. By putting a straight edge along this wing, you can see how far it's gone in. It must be 20 to 30 mil. This wing has sustained a nasty impact. And I'd be very surprised if this area isn't already stretched. So we'll talk about the damage in a bit more detail. First of all, we'll look at this area. This is called a crown. This is a sharp outward crease and this is where all the strength of the dent is. So basically from the impact, all of the metal has gone flat, creating this outward crown. As we can see from this angle, the natural line is totally crushed. From about where my finger is there, the panel has gone inwards. Also, there's a little bend right on the edge. And then we come to the body line. This bit is really damaged, along with the bottom part as well. This is going to take a lot of effort to take out. Okay, so we've seen the damage. What we need to do next is take out the arch liner and then give the area a polish up so we can see exactly where we're working. The arch liners on these Vauxhalls are pretty simple to take out. It's just a mixture of little torque screws and plastic clips. The vehicle is only a couple of years old, so everything unscrews nice and easy. Get the pen marks off and give it a quick polish up and just see how bad that paintwork is. And you can probably see there's a couple of little paint chips. Okay, let's get moving some metal. We've got the Dodar out with a slightly domed rubber tip on the end. This setup is going to help me move a lot of the metal in a really good controlled way. You can really see how tough it is to move this damage. That crown at the top is absolutely solid. So by pulling this area out first, it'll enable us to get the crown down a lot better. I'm getting there, there's a few other pushes. It's kind of expected on a bit of damage like this. This dent is uh, just tough. Looking from this angle, we can see that the reflection board is showing us all the highs and all the lows. I'm using a doda without the tip on to reshape the bottom of the wing. Even with the bulk of this dent taken out, you can just hear how strong that crown actually is. Okay, so after working the crown some time, I've got it into some kind of shape. But I need to be a lot more controlled in what pushes I make. So I'm using the Ultra Double Bend Bar with a plastic bullet tip and the Moose Knuckle. So I can lift out all the low areas of damage with a bit more precision. I'm nearly there now, just a few small pushes left to do. I've now changed to a metal tip, I need this because I'll be pushing out micro lows and I need to be really precise. 
and also I'm using a polished metal tipped knockdown. This just gives me the precision to knock small areas down without affecting the rest of it. And not forgetting this little area that we spoke about earlier being kinked. Because the dent has now come out, the kink is hardly noticeable. So it just needs a small rectification. So quite a few hours later, I finally got around to the inspection time. Inspecting it from all different angles, with your eye, with the inspection board and also feeling it as well. Just to have a recap on what it actually did look like. And this is the finished repair. No filler, no paint work. I've just pushed it out with bars, tapped it with hammers and given it a polish. That's it. We'll take a look at the damage with the inspection board. And for the paint, there's just two very minor paint imperfections. I'm absolutely over the moon with this repair. I never thought it would come out as good as it has done. So a repair like this just shows you the capabilities of what paintless dent removal can achieve. If you have a dent and it doesn't have paint white damage, there is a good chance that it can be repaired with a PDR method. And because you don't have to paint your vehicle, you'll also maintain your vehicle's paint warranty. That's it, all done. I'm really happy with the outcome of the repair and again if you do like my videos why not like, share and subscribe. But for now, thank you very much.